Okay, here we are again at the Scuderia Silva shop with Frank Silva. Rear brake uh, rubber hose, 62 Healy 3000 Mark II, triple carburetors, two seater side shift. This is a BN7. So the first thing we want to do, as I explained, is uh, loosen this nut. It comes from the front. That's behind the chassis back here. I hope you can see that. Just get that loose. Run that off there. Just push that aside. I have a drain pan underneath it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Then there's a nut on here. I've loosened that. We want to take that nut off. There we go. Now, in the chassis, it's got a holding section that holds the hard part of the line and uh, which makes it kind of nice. You need to keep track of the washer that comes off here. This is a type of lock washer. Now we've got that off of there. We're going to carefully take that out. Now we can take the hose loose. Now we've got the hose loose from this end and uh, we notice that has got a male uh, end on it. Uh, this one here, I've loosened that one. We can just spin that one off. I hope you can see that view of this just coming off. This is the hard metal brake lines left and right here for the rear axle. And uh, of course when we work on the cars we always shut the batteries off. This car has a battery, an actual battery cutoff uh, on it. So you can either disconnect the negative this case would be the positive from the ground, uh, but you always want to do that whenever you're working on a car, period, just for safety. I could spin this around, I got the battery right back there, I could spin this around and arc this under the battery or the body or something weird and um, everybody would be freaking out. Now we'll notice that this one has a flat end on it. The male side here came out of the body from the front. The uh, rear piece goes into the brake lines and it has a flat. Now normally if you had a flat you would have a copper washer on here and I don't see one on here but I think we have one on the next piece and uh, so we're going to compare the lines and uh, take just a second here Yeah, this does not have any copper on it whatsoever. That is uh, that's very interesting. There's no reason why we shouldn't have been losing brake fluid out of here, except by luck. So uh, we'll offer up the next one here. That one aside. Here's our new one. It has the copper washer. And uh, you'll notice it has the male end. We're going to take the, the new nut off. This nut we're going to use to retain it on there. So we'll put this male end back into the chassis on that side toward the front in just a minute here. And uh, But we're going to do it the reverse that we took it uh, apart in. So I want to put this end in first. And um, so we want to check these ends. They're different, but they'll work the same. Uh, the important part is that we see the uh, they're using the base here on the shoulder as the gasket. This does not fit into a pipe fitting situation like this front does. The front has a little cup, kind of like this one, uh, in the front there on the brake line. And so that cup, when you screw the nut on, these two cups make a connection and so the, the physical connection of the fluid is done here in this case. On this type, there's no connection like that because it's flat. There's no taper of any type. So what we're going to use here is what should have come off there, which is a copper line. That should have been on there just like that, and this car didn't have one. So uh, that's an anomaly, and uh, somehow it didn't leak on them. I don't know how. So we get rid of that one. Now let's go ahead and put this puppy back together. We'll put this brake line copper on. Go ahead and set it in there. 
and I like to just straighten it out and tweezel it in there nice and easy keep it straight I think you can see it going in there and once I get that down tight I'll make sure that's centered it is I'm gonna grab my little wrench say hello to my wolf friend and uh, just tighten that down we don't want to overdo it but you want to put a certain amount to it there we go that's perfect right there and uh, now we'll go on to fitting the front we put that through that hole there and then we're just going to do the opposite of the refitment when I tighten it I'm going to want to arc it so that it arcs nicely and I'm also going to tighten it in a fashion where it's not rubbing on the battery. I could tighten it and have it be right against the battery. That would be bad berries. We don't want to do that. Uh, so when I tighten this, I'll make sure that the arc is nice, but also that we're arched slightly away from that battery as well.